medium so these are the steps first of all we'll configure your local system uh, with the rabbit mq then we'll create one microservice we'll install the necessary nuget packages we'll create or uh, we'll send the message before this and then we'll create the another microservice and then that microservice will act as a consumer to receive those messages so let's do this this is the first website don't worry about the links the links are given into the youtube uh, description so the first one is you have to install erlang then second step you have to install this rabbit mq both of the links do uh, install these in in the sequence because while installing this rabbit mq it is it is mandatory don't ask me in, in detail because i uh, just believe in the practical implementation so i even don't know what exactly it does in internally so uh, yeah one more thing just download the same version what i have downloaded just to avoid any sort of conflicts um and uh, although i uh, always you know install or download the latest version by the time i'm recording this video this is uh, 6th of may 2020 and these are the latest available version of uh, rabbit mq and this erlang so download this install this once you install these the third step the third step is enable rabbit mq management plugin in windows it is really important so that in the ui itself in the browser ui you can see what is happening to your um, uh, rabbit mq exchanges uh, messages how many messages messages you have received how many messages are uh, fail, uh, failed or maybe processed successfully so that is important and uh, another thing important is the coder journey website uh, the link what i provide you the website should i share with you they are all tested when I say tested, because when you look for any solution in the in the internet, you might um, find number of solutions. They some of them uh, will work for you, and some of the, some of them will not work. So just to uh, make sure uh, we have the right and working uh, examples or working solution, I always give you the genuine website. So this is the coderjourney.com, and inside that you can find n number of blogs, and all are uh, related to the practical solutions. So follow these steps once you download uh, the rabbit mq you will find in the program file uh, this rabbit mq server rabbit mq server 3.83 and this is a has been folder so this these are the files uh, like server one and xyz these one they will help you in uh, running the system locally so what are the commands commands are written uh, here okay so these are the sequence okay so the commands are here rabbit mq server stop stall start right so first you have to start this server and i have you know copied the steps from this website only so just follow the same steps they all are working so this is the one way with which you can start the rabbit mq service uh, if you do not want to start from the uh, commands go to the services directly and you'll find the rabbit mq over there you can start this once you uh, completed this you will have to go to this local host uh, 15672 so this is the default url of this rabbit mq local server and here you can see we have the exchange exchanges we have the queues few one are the default one and uh, this is the overview right now we do not have any message we'll have in a bit so uh, you have configured this and yeah okay 